Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'm showing you how to make my favorite breadsticks. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. Today I am sharing my favorite breadsticks. They are super soft and fluffy. We have a ridiculously addictive garlic butter topping that we're going to be putting on them when they're finished baking. I think you're going to love these, so let's go ahead and get started. Now you're going to want to use a large bowl for today's recipe, and we are going to be using yeast. Anytime you're using yeast, you want to make sure that you are using warm water, but not too warm. So today's water is temp to be between 110 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Any hotter, you could end up killing your yeast. Any colder and your yeast might not activate. So I'll pour this into our bowl and we're going to be adding two and one fourth teaspoons of active dry yeast. Now over on the blog post, I do have some notes if you want to use instant yeast instead, but I just prefer using active dry. It's still a pretty quick recipe. All right, to help speed up the activation of the yeast, I'm also going to add just a pinch of sugar I'd say this is about a teaspoon of sugar. I'm taking it from my one and a half tablespoon of sugar that I have measured out for a little bit later on in the recipe. And I'm just going to lightly stir everything together because I wanna make sure all of that yeast is moistened. So this is going to need to sit for about five to 10 minutes. And during that time, your yeast should activate. It should get a nice foamy cap on top. If your yeast doesn't look like this after 10 minutes, you are going to have to throw it out and start over. Maybe your yeast is old, maybe your water wasn't the right temperature, but it needs to look like this before you go any further. All right, so now that our yeast is ready, we are going to be adding the remainder of our sugar. This is white granulated sugar and you'll be using one and a half tablespoons. We'll also add one teaspoon of table salt, two tablespoons of olive oil, and I have two and a half cups of bread flour measured out here. I'm going to just be adding approximately half of that for now. We'll be adding more as we go. Now, when we were finished the breadsticks, I'm going to be showing you a garlic butter coating for the top. But if you wanna make these really garlicky breadsticks all the way through, you could also add in a heaping 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder in with the flour and sugar. Now, we're just going to stir everything together until this batter is nicely combined. And at this point, this is a really wet dough. So it's really clear to me that we're going to need to add more flour. So let me just add a little bit more of that. Now I want to note that today's recipe could be made in a stand mixer instead, but I feel like it's just as easy to do this by hand, especially since sometimes the stand mixer, if you're using the dough hook, it has trouble reaching the bottom of the bowl, but I will make sure instructions for using a stand mixer are included in the printable recipe. So we're going to do this for a little while, stirring in more flour until we get a dough that is starting to cling to itself and pull away from the sides of the bowl. So as I said, I always start with two and a half cups of flour, but anytime you're making a yeast dough, the amount you actually need can vary. In your own kitchen, you may not need as much and that's okay, only add as much as you need. I'm going to talk to you all about the texture, but you also might need more, so don't be afraid to add more flour if you need to. So now here my dough is starting to get a little bit dry. I could continue to work this together using my wooden spoon, but at this point I'm ready to turn it out of the bowl and start kneading it. So I'm just going to take it over to a clean, lightly floured surface. And now we are just going to knead this dough until we have a smooth, elastic dough. And again, if the dough starts to get sticky, if it's sticking to your hands or the counter, just add a little bit more flour. Now when you're doing this by hand, I find it usually takes usually takes me about seven minutes to get it to a nice consistency. I would say it probably will take anywhere between five and 10 minutes. Kneading the dough like this is really important because what you're doing is you're developing the gluten and you're ensuring that you have a nice, fluffy, tender breadstick at the end of the day. Okay, so after about seven minutes of kneading, my dough is right where I want it to be. You can see I have a nice smooth ball. The consistency is nice and elastic. It's not sticking to my hands. So what we wanna do is we wanna let this rise. Now I'm going to take a large bowl and we're just going to drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil. And I like to use the napkin to spread it around the whole bowl because you want the whole bowl lightly oiled. And then we'll drop our dough in there and just turn the dough so that the entire surface is coated with a thin layer of oil. Now just cover this with plastic wrap or a clean towel and now you want to let this sit until it's doubled in size for me this usually only takes about 45 minutes but if your kitchen is a little bit cooler it could take an hour or even up to two hours to fully double all right so once your bread is nicely doubled we are going to use our hands clean hands to gently deflate the dough 
and then we'll turn it out into a clean, lightly floured surface. Now we're going to be making nine breadsticks today, so we are going to cut this dough into nine pieces. I like to just kind of form it into a log, divide that into three pieces, and then divide each of those into three pieces. So I have nine pieces of dough to work with. Now the easiest way to get these into a nice breadstick shape is just to gently stretch them. You want them to be about six to seven inches long. So place your breadsticks on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. And once you have them all prepped, you're going to want to let them rise again. I'd say usually about 30 minutes. You want them to be increased in size at least 50% before you go any further. While they are rising, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so as you can see, our breadsticks are looking pretty nice here. They've increased in size. So we're going to take them over to our preheated oven and they're going to need to bake for just about nine to 11 minutes. They should be a light golden brown color when they're finished baking. So once your breadsticks have finished baking, we are going to mix up a really quick and easy garlic butter sauce. Now you're just going to need three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, add a half teaspoon of dried parsley, a scant one fourth teaspoon of table salt. So just a little less than a fourth teaspoon, somewhere between an eighth and a fourth usually works well. And one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. Powder. We'll just whisk these together. And then you'll want to use a pastry brush and just lightly coat each breadstick with that butter mixture. If you'd like, you can also add a sprinkling of grated Parmesan cheese over top. That takes them to the next level and is also delicious. I want to break in one of these so you guys can see just how soft and fluffy they are. They're also pretty hot right now, but look at that. All right, that is how you make my favorite homemade breadsticks. As you just saw, it's really pretty easy to make. Great for pairing with my homemade ziti or lasagna. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. And if you try this one out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>